Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we will be reviewing Battle Beasts brand new album Circus of Doom. Let's get to it. All right, welcome back. So when I saw this album cover, I was just totally blown away. I mean, you got the Grim Reaper, you got a couple of vultures sitting on the tree, you got the circus tent in the background, twilight, fog, just eerie looking feeling in this picture and that is cool, that is just so metal. When I first listened to Battle Beast album uh, a couple of years ago, it was uh, No More Hollywood Endings, I was just uh, quite impressed, I was like, oh this is a good band. And on this album, they've kind of like taken everything a notch up. Uh, this album is just so good. It kind of reminds me of Night Wishes uh, Imaginarium album. As a matter of fact, uh, the vocals also sound very similar to Annette Olzon's vocals. Um, and that's pretty cool because I'm a huge fan of her vocals and also a huge fan of her other band, uh, The Dark Elements. So if you're not familiar with that band, do check it out. All right. So let's just review these songs um, so you guys will get an idea of what the songs sound like. Obviously I can't really play them over here uh, due to copyright issues, but I can talk about it. Alright, Circus of Doom. What an amazing opening track. Kind of reminds me of Night Wishes Imaginarium album. Love the chorus. Full of emotions and catchy and great lyrical content and an emotional vocal delivery. Love it. Second track, Wings of Light. Love the opening scream by the singer Nora. Her voice in the song sounds like Annette Olzon's voice and that's pretty cool. Heck, as a matter of fact, the song sounds like something of Annette's solo album and most particularly her other band, The Dark Element. Um, this song is a power metal song with great gritty vocals and a catchy chorus with lots of emotions. Master of Illusion. Now this track is a dark, heavy track. Reminds me yet again of something of Night Wishes Imaginarium album. Once again, I love the emotions that delivered in the song. Awesome track that you can enjoy by immersing in the music and just literally just leaving the world behind. Very cool. Where Angels Fear to Fly. Great song title. Love the aggressiveness in Nora's voice, which makes this medium paced ballad absolutely great. The song is a poppy undertone though, but yet enough power metalness to make it palatable. Absolutely a great track, highly recommend it. Eye of the Storm. This one starts off slowly, but the intensity just keeps on building up. Love the chugging style guitar riff, blended perfectly with Nora's voice. And speaking of a voice in the second verse, uh, oh, it's completely kick-ass. Very aggressive. Do check it out. Russian Roulette. This one sounds very much like the last Umbarian's Dawn album. Think of Ebba on metal steroids. This track is very disco-like, but fused with metal. So that's great. Freedom. This song is very thrashy with a fast gallop beat. Uh, this is an awesome power metal track. The chorus is big and sing-along. Guitar solo reminds me just a little bit, just a little bit of Dragon Force and that is pretty cool. The Road to Avalon. Love the guitar work and the verses of the song. The chorus yet again reminds me of Umbarian Dawn. But Nora's voice just simply makes everything sounds more edgy and that is awesome. Not bagging on Umbarian Dawn at all because I do like the band. Uh, but Battle Beast is a different beast, uh, and may I add, an aggressive beast. Armageddon. This song, once again, sounds like the Dark Element band. Both the verse and the chorus has just an amazing melody, and the scream at the end of the chorus by Nora is worth waiting for. The last track, Place That We Call Home. Now this track sounds like Dragon Force, and I love the double kicks in the beginning of the song. Which I wait for the song uh, pretty much as soon as I start the album. The guitar solo of this track is also my favorite. So yeah guys, there you go. This album is actually quite unique and um, 
if you are into very melodic um, power metal then this album is gonna be your cup of tea uh, I need to buy this album somewhere at the moment I've been just listening to it on Apple music but I want to source it from somewhere my local stores don't have this album so it's gonna be an import but I can't wait for it and I think if I can find the vinyl version of this that would be awesome because this album is a keeper great album so thank you guys for watching this little video if you're new to my channel I review heavy metal music hard rock music I also review guitar gear amplifiers and I do some vlogging as well so if you're into any of this stuff make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next videos keep it metal